Hi Stampers, this is Jill Olson and I have a bunch of Halloween treat ideas for you today. In our holiday catalog, it just came live September 1st. If you go to page 50 and 51, it shows a bunch of the Halloween stuff. And I love our designer series paper and the washi tape. And I'm gonna be using a bunch of these new products in the things that I'm making. And the next page, oh, this Ghoulish Grunge stamp set. Just look at this. Really, these are the only two that go with Halloween, and you could use all these other ones for, actually, you can use this one for crayons that are like, or paint. So this I'm gonna use all year round. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. This right here, this new cookie cutter Halloween, which matches our new cookie cutter punch. So this is used almost in everything. I couldn't live without that. These cute little sayings, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat for the Spooky Fun Set. And this is a great new um, tag. It's called the Halloween Treat Tag. I'll show you what I'm worked up. We've got these little cello bags, and this is a six by eight cello bag, and you just make a tag to go around it, and you put treats inside of it. Here's another tag. Just done with some of the products that I showed you, the DSP, the washi tape, and that cute little punch. So that you could put on any cello bag or even a thing of candy or a drink you could use. It would be really cute. You could use an orange crush and put that on there and that would really be fun to use. The next product I wanna talk about is an envelope. You wouldn't think that the envelope is great for treat ideas, but it really is. So you just lick it and close it and then you cut off the top. And it works perfect as something you could slide a treat in. So this is open, everything else is sealed in the back. We have the craft envelopes that would work for Thanksgiving and you know other things during the fall that you wanna give treats for. Here's another one. It looks like kind of like a card, but actually it's just an envelope that you can slide candy in. So that's another idea for a treat idea. Here is our glossine bags that we have, and um, you get 10 of them in a package. And the same thing, you just decorate the front of it and you can put a candy bar in there or anything you like. This right here is our cello bags and they're two by eight size. This is a new size that we're carrying this year. They're great for treats. And you just put the candy in there, it'll make a little folded topper and you've got a treat idea right there. I've also done one right here, use that same one on the side and made it a spinner card as a topper. And don't you love this little mummy? Isn't he so cute? I even put Wink Estelle on him. I don't know if you can tell, but we kind of like gave him some little sparkle. So when he goes back and forth, he just sparkles. I love, love, love these little cookie cutter stamps. They make everything look so much fun. The next idea I wanna share are these clear tiny treat boxes and they are so cool. They have, um, they're really crinkly when you open them up and you just fold them like this back and forth and they are so much fun. I don't even stamp on them. The neat thing is, is what I did with these is I just cut a piece of cardstock two by four and I made it smaller than two inches on the side so you can get it in because this is two inches right here. Just slide it in because it's see-through. These would be great for name placeholders for Thanksgiving. Is you just set those and then you could write somebody's name on it. I also like using it as dimension. You could have this in the, the back of it and this in the front. But it's just, so you're actually using the box backwards. You're taking the front, which you would open, and I'm just stick this in and then just turn it around so they still can open it. But isn't that fun? I love these clear treat boxes. So that's a great idea to give some treats for your teachers or friends. With this idea for the Halloween treat, it's basically there's a sour cream packets that we made with our DSP. So you just take a five by four inch piece of DSP and you can decide which side you wanna use it. And I'm gonna use Fast Fuse. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Fast Fuse right here on the edge because I really want it to stick. So I'm just gonna curve this over 
and this side just you're kind of just making a tube all right so then I've got the tube that way but I'm gonna seal one side like shut that way and then this other side is gonna go the other way so when you do, do the one side you want to make sure that it stays shut because you don't want your candy going out so you can use you can use fast fuse or you can use glue dots however it just depends on how big of your candy is then I'm gonna go ahead and you want to put your candy in next and I like to go ahead and use the glue dot here just to help keep it closed while I'm working with the washi tape now you would take your washi tape whatever one you want and you notice that this one right here has got some silver on it so I want to go ahead and use this it's like metallic so I'm just gonna put it on one side and fold it over and I'm just gonna cut it with my snips in half when it's already there so it gives a little decorative look to the sour cream pouch so that's how you do it and then the other side also so here's some ideas you can see I've got some on this one and we just use that cookie cutter and this one's just used plain there's some more washi tape on this one and this is just used with a little of the twine here from the holiday mini and it's it has this um, pumpkin pie in black twine and it also has gray and black so those are easy ideas and they're just a four by five piece of DSP so hope you enjoyed our video of all these fun treat ideas I enjoyed making them all and hope you have a nice happy Halloween we'll see you next time 